Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a quick one, just to show you how to move the third person camera on the mouse scroll. So I've done it before where you can just change the third and first person or just move your camera around. But today what we're going to be doing is I'll actually show you. So we're going to be moving our camera like this on the mouse scroll and you can change how far in and out it goes. And if you want, you can even go into first person at the end, but that will probably be in a different video if you want that. But like I say, we're just going to be scrolling in and out this camera on the mouse scroll wheel like so. So I'll show you how to do this now. So our first step is going to be to open up our character blueprint as that's where we're going to be doing all of this code. So for me that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but for you this could be third, first or whatever you've named it. So in here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and I'm going to get mouse wheel up, right click again and get mouse wheel down. Now you can do this in an action mapping as well if you want but I'm not going to as I've got two different ones here so that'll be two different action mappings and I think I'm only ever going to be using it here so it's not really any more efficient. But you can because obviously you can set that up for multiple buttons, different consoles, key bindings, all that good stuff and I think you probably know how to do that. You just go to edit, project settings, go down to input once it loads and hit the plus action mapping there and set your key in there. But like I say, I'm not going to bother. Then here what we want to do is we want to set the camera boom. So you want to make sure that what you have is your third person camera on a camera boom like this. You probably will have it like that as that's what it is by default, but if you don't I have a video on setting that up. So we go back to the event graph and drag and drop our reference to our camera boom in there. Gonna come out of that and we're going to get target arm length. And the target arm length is essentially this red line you see here. And if we move it, that moves the camera. So we're gonna leave it there at 300 by default. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come out of this and we're gonna get a plus, so a float plus a float and that is going to be for going out. So we're going to be making the length bigger so it's going further away from the player. So then also out of the camera boom, what we're going to do is we're going to set target arm length as well, like so, and plug that into the pressed of the mouse wheel down like that. Like I say, the plus is going out, so the mouse wheel down is also scrolling out as well. So then out of this plus float here, well actually in this, sorry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 20. You can set that to be whatever value you like. Obviously the bigger the number, the less time it's going to take to scroll out the lower the number, the more amount of scrolls it will take. So customize that to get it perfect for you, but I found 20 to be quite good. Now of this, I'm going to get a clamp. So clamp floats like that. The return value of that go into this set target arm length and the value being this addition here. The minimum I'm going to set to 150, the maximum I'm going to set to 700. Now you can set this to be whatever you like. Basically what a clamp does is it means that this value here that we're setting the target arm length to can't go below 150 and can't go above 700. So this is basically the minimum and maximum values for how far out and how far in you want your camera to go. So customize this again to how it forever you want. So these are the values I used in the demonstration to start. So 150 will go zoomed in as you saw, 700 will go zoomed out. So again, you can set this to be whatever you like. So if I set it to 800, it will go further out. This just means it won't go further than this. So we can set it to have a limit. And that's all we need to do for going out. So that will zoom out like that. And obviously, as you can tell, it's going to be the opposite for zooming in. So very simple process, we'll come out of this, we'll get a float minus a float, I'll put that as 20 as well just to keep it nice and even for the player. We'll get another clamp as we can only have one input value on those, but if I just duplicate it, we can keep the same values. Out of the return value of that, again, we're going to set the target arm length, so again that can only have one input, so we need to get another one, plug that into the pressed of the mouse wheel up, and there we have it. That is the code done, it is that simple. So what we're going to do is when we're scrolling down, we're going to move the camera out to a maximum of 800. When we're scrolling up, we're going to be going in towards the player again, moving it in with a maximum of 150. And they're going to be going up by 20 each time. So I just select that, hit C to comment it. I'm going to call this move camera on mouse wheel. Name that whatever you like, just so that if we zoom out, we know what it is straight away. So now if we compile, save that, we can minimize and hit play to test this. So you can see we have our normal camera here. If we scroll in, scroll up, we're going to be zooming in this far. If we scroll out or down, we're going to be moving the camera all the way out to here. And you can see that it doesn't go any further in or out than the values that we set. So I'm still scrolling, it won't go in, I'm still scrolling, and it doesn't go out. And because we did it on the camera boom, it still has this collision here. So if we walk up to this wall, the camera does not clip through it, the camera stays here like so, because we did it on the camera boom using the target arm length like so. So again, I have a video setting up the target length and the camera boom if you'd like. So uh, that will be in the description down below and probably on screen at the start of the video as well. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we wanted to do. We've set it up so that we can move the camera on our mouse wheel scroll so we can zoom it in and zoom it out like so. 
and this just gives the player more depth of field more customization and freedom of where they want the camera to be and how zoomed in or zoomed out they want it to be so some players might prefer like this some like this and some like this it's all customizable for them so they can choose it to be a lot better or if you want them to be able to see a lot further like this in some parts but all the way in like this you can do that as well so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one